Hey guys, welcome back. I've got some new Blu-rays here. It's been a while since I've been uploading videos, but I wanted to wait till I had a decent stack of stuff to show you guys. So this is all the stuff I picked up in June and first week of July-ish. So I'll, I'll go one by one and I'll show you guys what I got. Um, a lot of these are upgrades. Some are new stuff, but um, let's just start off with a couple of older movies. Um, the first one is called The Asphalt Jungle, which I bought on the, from Criterion. It's a uh, crime thriller from 1950. Yeah, 1950. Um, a great movie. It's actually, it's actually inspiration for a movie I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Um, basic setup is this, it's a heist movie. It's, uh, you know, criminals getting together and, you know, forming a team to do something, right? It's a, it's a idea you've heard many times before, but in many ways, this was kind of the, I don't want to say the beginning, maybe it might've been the beginning. I don't know, but it was certainly one of the first ones I know, I know about that had this idea, which is pretty cool. So the asphalt jungle. Then... The next one is in, from 1941, The Maltese Falcon, um, with Humphrey Bogart. I saw this recently for the second time. The first time I didn't love it. I thought it was okay. But then once I started getting into a, a kick of watching 40s movies and 50s movies, I revisited this and I liked it more the second time. It's not the most exciting movie i would say there's a lot of talking you know in rooms but there's interesting stuff happening there's a mystery going on and i like movies like that um so these two are actually by the same director which is great and he's in the movie the director of these two movies his name is john huston he's an actor too and he's an actor in chinatown which is in, which was inspired by the Maltese Falcon. So these crime noir movies, right? So I got the 4K of Chinatown. This movie's great, one of my favorites. It's bleak, it's dark, um, um, but there's a lot of stuff going on. With crime noir, crime noir movies, there's a lot of stuff going on. The plot is like intentionally complicated. But even if you don't keep up with the plot, really, it's more about the atmosphere and what the characters are doing and what motivations are going on. And it's not so much like, you know, point A, point to point B is important necessarily. You can keep up with the plot if you want. It's more rewarding if you like, you know, look up it on Wiki, look up on Wikipedia to keep track of things. And I do that if I can't keep up with something. And it's rewarding if you know what the plot is, but you don't have to like know the plot 100% to get some satisfaction out of this. And I love this cool little flip uh, cover that they did with Chinatown. So 4K of Chinatown looks good, really good. Um, and uh, I just, it's just really interesting that these two movies, this, this Chinatown was inspired by this and the director of Maltese Falcon is an actor in Chinatown, <laughs> which is really cool. I like thing, I like connections like that. It's really cool. Um, next one is an upgrade from Blu-ray. It's Blood and Black Lace. This is a horror movie, uh, technically a slasher if you want to call it that, but it's, um, from 1964, I want to say, 1964, Mario Bava, an Italian director. Um, probably one of my favorite, like, slasher horror mystery movies. I really like this a lot. Beautiful beautiful cinematography like one of the best looking movies i've seen and in 4k i popped it in for five minutes or so it looks even better than i would have thought it looked better on the it looked good on the blu-ray already and no i have it somewhere else um the blu-ray is good but this even for the five or ten minutes i looked at it it looks even better so it's cool i mean it's bare bones there's not much to it. There's a box set, but it was way too expensive, and this was cheaper, so I got this. The next couple are upgrades. I upgraded the Raging Bull 4K. Um, I didn't see the whole thing in 4K, but I popped it in for five minutes. Looks much better than the Blu-ray. looks clearer. looks more detailed, but I don't know what the whole movie... I don't really have a good vibe of what the whole movie looks like, but this looks good. 
Then I got Duel, which was Spielberg, Steven Spielberg's first movie. I, I put it in for a few minutes. It looked really good. I didn't see the whole thing in 4K, but I've seen this movie before. It's basically a... How do I describe it? It's like Jaws, but with a truck. <laughs> so he made a thriller with a truck relentlessly chasing a guy. And it's really it's really good. It's a relentless thriller. If you like those kind of movies, I think this would you would like this. Um, the next are the, the next ones are all upgrades. Um, I got Inception in 4K. I haven't seen the whole movie in 4K. Um, it's one of it's one of my favorite like sci-fi action movies. Um, it, it's gotten you know since it's so popular, it's it's gotten to a point. We're gotten to a point now where is it? People are saying is it really good or was it kind of overrated? I saw it like I want to say within the last three months I saw it, and I really liked. A lot liked it a lot. It it is as good as its reputation, I think, um, presents itself. Um, is it a little too much talking and exposition? Yes, but I mean, it's still a great concept, and I love it. So whatever, it was a good movie. Really good. I also got, I also got Heat on four K. This was a controversial release because there, there have been cases where people said it's too dark, and if your TV settings are like the default. It is really dark, but I adjusted the settings and I tested it out. I, I turned up the contrast, I turned up the colors and it looked good with the settings on my TV that I, I have to customize it for this one. But it's worth it if you customize your settings to make it look better because the detail is better than the Blu-ray. It's just darker by the default setting, which is unfortunate, but you have to kind of customize it for this, which I don't mind doing because I love Heat. It's one of my favorite crime movies, crime thrillers, movies, period. So I don't care if I have to adjust it for this only. It's fine. Anyway, I'm happy I have this. And then the last three, The Northman on 4K, which I haven't seen in 4K, but I want to upgrade it just so I um, can see if it's... I, I'm pretty sure it'll look better. So I just got this. Then I got The Lighthouse on 4K also from Arrow which um, has a cool special features. Um, I haven't seen this for a while. I want to see it in 4K again. Um, hopefully it looks better. I haven't, I haven't checked it out yet. Last one is Alfred Hitchcock's Rope on 4K. Um, this is like one of the first, it's 1948, I think. One of the first like one take movies. So people like to refer to 1917 as the one take movie, the war movie. But th this was, I think one of the, maybe the first one take movie like not one take literally because there's multiple i say one take as in you know that's the concept that people think about when they see things when they see the movie so this is like um major majority of it is one take um but it is a great you know mystery thriller kind of movie it's um it's one of Hitchcock's better movies, but not many people, I think, recognize it as such. And I, I think it's maybe because the concept is not as outlandish as like Vertigo or Psycho or Rear Window is, but I really like it. And I think it's one of Hitchcock's best. Anyway, so those are all my purchases for this month and for the month of July and first week of July, for month of June, first week of July. I don't know how much more I'll get to this month, but we'll see. Hopefully I'll get some stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you want me to speak about something in particular, let me know in the comments and I will. All right, guys, have a good day.